Welcome back everyone. I have here with me today Feronia, from the Sabine tribe. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. From what I have heard, some stuff has happened lately to your tribe. Yes. Why don't you clue the audience in a bit on your troubles? Well, as you all know, the city of Rome was founded on April 21, 753 BC, by a man named Romulus. Of course. To gain a larger population, Romulus opened Rome to people wanting a fresh start. That's sure nice of him. They were mostly fugitives, looking for asylum. Oh. Well, he had the right idea. Didn't that increase the population? Yes. And Rome has gotten pretty strong at this point, with some social organization as well. With the senators, the heads of clans? The fathers, as they were called. I see. So things were going pretty well? No. There were not enough women to make more little Roman vagabonds. Were they isolated from the nearby communities? Intermarriage with neighboring communities was not allowed. Of course, Romulus knew this and sent out representatives to negotiate alliances and the rights of intermarriage. That seems reasonable. No one liked Rome. That city of runaways. So now it's around the time of Consulia. The festival in honor of Neptune. That very one. Romulus let everyone know Rome was taking part in the festivities. Those who had always been curious used it as an excuse to go and check out Rome. I would too. The city of vagabonds brings out my wild side. Well, all the neighboring settlements showed up, just as Romulus expected. And the Sabins, your tribe. Yes, were there too? Everyone brought their wives, husbands, children. Wow. Pretty soon we were all distracted with everything going on. And then all of a sudden I hear shouts of Thalusius, Thalusius. Thalusius? Who is that? Thalusius was the man who got his party of men to abduct me for him. They shouted his name to make it known I was his. Oh. I'm sorry. The festivities were over. They told me to not be afraid. I would get the fortunes of Rome, and privileges of the community. All that crap. But you are now bound to your husband by the dearest bond of all children. Right. And passionate love prompted the raping of me. You didn't hear it from me. But those disfixiones are very reliable. Eventually we wives lost our resentment towards our new husbands. Really? Well, our parents did not. But the Sabins were unduly dilatory. It was the three other invited communities that acted first. Wait. It's not over? No. Kyanina was the first to fight. Romulus personally cut off the prince's arms and took control. Oh my. Well, it wasn't all bad. When they fought with Antrimni, Romulus's wife, Hercilia, wanted the parents to be able to live with their daughters in Rome. This was only to be fair because it was a surprise attack and Antrimni didn't fight back. Who was next to fight? Crustumium was just broken up. Most people then moved to Rome. I see. My tribe was the last to attack. We won. We were in possession of the citadel. Congratulations. A bunch of other stuff had to happen before everything was okay again, but I don't want to bore you. Right. Well, why don't you just tell us how you played a part in all this? Well, we Sabin women felt bad about all of this fighting, and wanted to intervene. We went out to try to separate the fathers on one side, and the husbands on another. We told them both straight out, we are mothers now. We would rather die than be the ones widowed or orphaned. Did that help? Yes, they managed to stay peaceful. Wonderful. Well, that's our time. I'd like to thank Feronia for coming on and chatting with us. Good night.